In Hollywood tonight, actress Suzanne Summers has died at the age of 76. Summers was known for her roles in Three's Company and also Step by Step. Embark on a journey into the tumultuous life of Suzanne Summers, where behind the glitz of Hollywood lies a story of struggle and resilience. From teenage pregnancy to mistreatment in Tinseltown, Summers faced battles that would shake her to the core. But amidst the spotlight, her fiercest fight came with cancer, a battle that tested her strength and resolve. Join us as we uncover the shocking and mysterious twists of Summer's personal life. Early Life and Struggles Suzanne Summer's early life was marked by significant personal struggles that deeply influenced her future endeavors and shaped the course of her life. Born in San Bruno, California on October 16, 1946, Suzanne grew up in a working-class Irish-American Catholic family. However, her upbringing was far from idyllic. Suzanne's father, Francis Frank Mahoney, battled alcoholism, and his abusive behavior created a tumultuous and often frightening environment for Suzanne and her siblings. She lived in constant fear for her safety, enduring the emotional and psychological toll of her father's alcohol-fueled rages. Adding to her early life challenges, Summers struggled with dyslexia, a learning disorder that affects reading comprehension, spelling, writing, and sometimes speech. This significantly impacted her education and self-esteem, further leading to feelings of inadequacy or frustration. Despite these hurdles, Summers was determined to pursue her interests beyond conventional academic paths. At the tender age of 18, Suzanne embarked on a journey that would further shape her life's trajectory. She married Bruce Summers, beginning a new chapter as a wife and soon-to-be mother. Their union led to the birth of their son, Bruce Jr., when Suzanne was just 19 years old. However, the responsibilities of marriage and motherhood at such a young age presented numerous challenges. Suzanne grappled with the demands of parenthood while navigating the complexities of a strained marriage. More importantly, her marriage came about because of an early and unplanned pregnancy, which led to her being ostracized from her college and her family reflecting the societal norms and pressures of the time. She felt a profound sense of shame, not only personally, but also as she perceived it reflected on her family and her small hometown due to the divorce that followed, an uncommon and stigmatized decision during that era. The relationship with Bruce Summers was fraught with difficulties, exacerbated by financial struggles and personal differences. Suzanne found herself facing the harsh realities of adulthood far earlier than expected, with the weight of societal expectations and personal ambitions bearing down on her young shoulders. Despite her best efforts to make the marriage work, Suzanne and Bruce eventually parted ways, their union ending in divorce in 1968. The dissolution of her marriage marked a turning point for Suzanne, propelling her into a period of self-discovery and resilience. Determined to provide for her son and create a better life for them both, Suzanne took on various jobs, from making chocolate desserts for restaurants in Sausalito, California, to creating children's dresses and selling them on consignment. Despite the financial and emotional struggles, she remained committed to her son's well-being, promising him a good life against all odds. These early life experiences, characterized by turmoil and resilience, laid the groundwork for her later success in the entertainment industry and beyond. Career Beginnings and Setbacks Suzanne Summers' journey into the world of modeling and acting began with dreams of success and aspirations for a brighter future. However, the path to achieving her goals was fraught with challenges and setbacks that tested her resilience and determination. At a young age, Suzanne's talent and ambition caught the attention of a newspaper columnist after her standout performance in a school play. This recognition earned her a scholarship to Lone Mountain College, where she pursued her passion for music. However, her academic pursuits took a back seat when she found herself facing an unplanned pregnancy during her college years. Her early days as a model were far from glamorous, with Suzanne taking on unconventional assignments, such as lying in traction at an American Medical Association convention. Despite the less-than-ideal start, Suzanne's perseverance began to pay off as she started landing advertising gigs and gaining traction in the industry. Her determination and hard work eventually caught the eye of casting directors, leading to small appearances in television shows and films. A year after her divorce, Suzanne found herself on the path to a new chapter in her life when she became a prize model on the syndicated game show, Anniversary Game. 
It was during her time on the show that Suzanne met and married the host, Alan Hamill, setting the stage for a new chapter of personal and professional growth in her life. However, Suzanne's journey was not without its personal challenges. In 1970, she faced a significant setback when she was arrested for passing bad checks, a moment that could have spelled the end of her budding career. Around the same time, Suzanne endured a tragic accident involving her son, Bruce Jr., adding to her personal struggles and testing her resilience in the face of adversity. Suzanne's big break came in 1973 when she landed a tiny yet memorable role as the beautiful blonde in a convertible in George Lucas's film American Graffiti. This opportunity opened doors, setting her on a path towards greater visibility and recognition in the entertainment world. Despite these challenges, Suzanne remained undeterred in her pursuit of success. Her resilience and determination to overcome obstacles shaped her character and fueled her drive to achieve her dreams in the entertainment industry. Rising Fame and Controversies Suzanne Summers' rise to fame in the 1970s was meteoric, marked by her breakout role as Chrissy Snow in the hit sitcom Three's Company. However, alongside her skyrocketing career came controversies and challenges that would test her resilience and redefine her public image. The year 1977 proved to be a turning point for Suzanne as she auditioned for the role of Chrissy Snow in Three's Company, a sitcom about two single women sharing an apartment with a male roommate who pretends to be gay to appease the landlord. Portraying the stereotypical more bust-than-brain blonde, Suzanne quickly became an icon of the era garnering widespread acclaim and adoration from audiences across the nation. Her portrayal of Chrissy Snow catapulted her to stardom, earning her a legion of fans and a plethora of magazine covers, including a profile on the esteemed news program 60 Minutes. Three's company became a cultural phenomenon, propelling Suzanne to the forefront of Hollywood's elite. Her comedic timing and undeniable charm endeared her to audiences worldwide, solidifying her status as one of the biggest stars of the 1970s, alongside luminaries like Farrah Fawcett of Charlie's Angels fame. However, amidst the glitz and glamour of her newfound fame, Suzanne's journey was fraught with controversy and conflict. As her popularity soared, so too did tensions behind the scenes. Strained relationships with her co-stars, John Ritter and Joyce DeWitt, began to surface, leading to a deterioration in their on-set dynamics. Despite her immense contributions to the show's success, Suzanne found herself embroiled in a bitter contract dispute with ABC over salary disparities and profit sharing. Demanding a substantial increase in pay to match her male co-star, John Ritter, Suzanne's negotiations turned acrimonious when ABC refused to meet her demands. In a bold move, she refused to appear in certain episodes of the series, citing various reasons, including a broken rib. This standoff eventually led to Suzanne's abrupt departure from Three's company, leaving behind a void that would prove difficult to fill. The fallout from Suzanne's departure was swift and harsh. Branded as difficult and greedy by the media, she faced backlash from both industry insiders and the public alike. Her credibility in show business was called into question, and the stigma of being labeled a troublemaker lingered for years to come. Despite the controversy, Suzanne remained steadfast in her convictions, believing that she had been unjustly treated and fighting to reclaim her reputation in the industry. In the aftermath of Three's Company, Suzanne embarked on a quest to reinvent herself and reclaim her standing in Hollywood. Despite facing numerous roadblocks and setbacks, including being ostracized by the industry, Suzanne refused to be sidelined. She found solace and success in other ventures, including a high-profile role in the musical The Moulin Rouge in Las Vegas, where she transformed a potential flop into a resounding success. Amidst the tumultuous aftermath of Three's Company, Suzanne found herself at the center of another controversy, her decision to pose for Playboy magazine. In 1980, she appeared in her first nude pictorial for the magazine, a move that sparked heated debate and divided public opinion. This bold move sparked intense public scrutiny and debate, with opinions divided on whether it was an empowering act of self-expression or a desperate bid for attention. Despite the backlash, Summers defended her choice, citing personal reasons and the need to support her family amidst financial struggles. The publication of the photos without her consent also led to a legal battle with Playboy. Undeterred by the controversies surrounding her, Summers continued to pursue her passion for entertainment. 
appearing in guest roles on network television and starring in made-for-TV movies throughout the 1980s and beyond. Her resilience in the face of adversity and her willingness to challenge conventions cemented her legacy as an enduring figure in Hollywood, inspiring generations of aspiring actors and actresses to pursue their dreams against all odds. Health Battles Suzanne Summers' life has been marked by a series of tumultuous events, including health battles that have tested her resilience and resolve. From her diagnosis of breast cancer to her advocacy for alternative medicine, Suzanne's journey is a testament to her unwavering determination in the face of adversity. In April 2000, Suzanne received the devastating news that she had breast cancer. This diagnosis sent shockwaves through her world, forcing her to confront her mortality and make difficult decisions about her treatment. Opting for a lumpectomy to remove the cancerous tissue followed by radiation therapy, Suzanne embarked on a journey of healing and recovery. However, she made the controversial choice to decline chemotherapy, a decision that would spark intense debate and scrutiny in the years to come. Suzanne's battle with breast cancer thrust her into the spotlight as a vocal advocate for alternative medicine. Rejecting conventional treatments in favor of holistic approaches, Suzanne sought out alternative therapies to complement her healing journey. This marked the beginning of her advocacy for bioidentical hormone replacement therapy, a controversial treatment that would become a focal point of her health crusade. In her book, Ageless, Suzanne delved into the world of bioidentical hormone therapy, interviewing practitioners, and exploring various approaches to women's health. However, her endorsement of the Wiley Protocol, a specific approach to bioidentical hormone therapy, drew sharp criticism from medical experts. A group of doctors raised concerns about the protocol's lack of scientific evidence and potential risks, igniting a firestorm of controversy around Suzanne's advocacy efforts. Despite facing backlash and negative press coverage, Suzanne remained steadfast in her belief in the power of alternative medicine. Her appearance on The Oprah Winfrey Show garnered praise from Winfrey herself, but it also fueled further debate and skepticism about the safety and efficacy of bioidentical hormone therapy. Undeterred by the controversy, Suzanne continued to champion alternative treatments, determined to challenge the status quo and empower others to take control of their health. In November 2008, Suzanne received another devastating blow when she was misdiagnosed with inoperable cancer by six doctors. This harrowing experience plunged her into a whirlwind of uncertainty and fear, prompting her to seek out alternative cancer treatments. Drawing on her own journey and the insights of medical experts, Suzanne penned the book Knockout, shedding light on alternative therapies to chemotherapy. In Knockout, Suzanne delved into the world of alternative cancer treatments, highlighting the stories of patients who had opted for unconventional paths to healing. However, her promotion of alternative therapies sparked controversy and criticism from organizations like the American Cancer Society, who raised concerns about the safety and efficacy of these treatments. Despite the backlash, Suzanne remained undeterred, steadfast in her belief that alternative medicine offered a viable and effective alternative to conventional treatments. Entrepreneurial Ventures Suzanne Summers' journey as an entrepreneur is as remarkable as her success in the entertainment industry. From her groundbreaking invention of the Thighmaster to her ventures into organic cosmetics, Suzanne has carved out a niche for herself as a savvy businesswoman with a keen eye for innovation and opportunity. In the early 1990s, Suzanne stumbled upon an opportunity that would change the course of her career and catapult her into the realm of fitness and wellness. When introduced to an exercise device known as the V-Toner, Suzanne saw potential where others saw skepticism. With her husband by her side, she seized the opportunity to rebrand the device as the Thighmaster and took a partnership interest in the company. The Thighmaster quickly became a cultural phenomenon, transcending its status as a mere exercise device to become an emblem of pop culture. Featured in television shows, films, and even referenced by then-President George Bush, the Thighmaster captured the imagination of the public and became a household name. Suzanne's shrewd business acumen and undeniable charisma played a pivotal role in the Thighmaster's success, transforming it from obscurity to ubiquity in a remarkably short span of time. Buoyed by the success of the Thighmaster, Suzanne expanded her entrepreneurial endeavors, venturing into the realm of home shopping with a line of jewelry on the Home Shopping Network. 
Embracing the burgeoning trend of celebrity endorsements in the world of home shopping, Suzanne leveraged her star power to connect with consumers and promote her products in an authentic and engaging manner. In 1991, Suzanne's entrepreneurial spirit led her to co-star with Patrick Duffy in the sitcom Step by Step, a modern twist on The Brady Bunch. The show's success further cemented Suzanne's status as a multifaceted talent with a keen business acumen. As she continued to land roles in television movies and even ventured into producing, Suzanne's entrepreneurial ventures remained at the forefront of her career. But Suzanne's entrepreneurial journey didn't stop with the thigh master. In the early 1990s, she became the spokeswoman for the revolutionary exercise equipment, starring in a series of infomercials that propelled its popularity to new heights. She also diversified her product line, introducing the Butt Master and releasing a series of workout videos aimed at promoting fitness and wellness. However, her entrepreneurial pursuits extended beyond the realm of fitness, as evidenced by her foray into the world of nutrition with her best-selling book, Suzanne Summers Eat Great, Lose Weight. In the early 2000s, Suzanne turned her attention to organic cosmetics, launching Suzanne Organics Cosmetics with a focus on natural ingredients and sustainable practices. Inspired by her own journey to health and wellness, Suzanne sought to create a line of cosmetics that aligned with her philosophy of holistic living. With products ranging from skincare to makeup, Suzanne Organics Cosmetics quickly gained traction in the market, earning praise for its commitment to quality and authenticity. In recognition of her contributions to the world of infomercials, Suzanne was inducted into the Infomercial Hall of Fame in 2014, further solidifying her legacy as a pioneering entrepreneur. Through her innovative products and unwavering commitment to promoting health and wellness, Suzanne Summers has left an unforgettable mark on both the entertainment industry and the world of business, inspiring countless individuals to pursue their passions and seize opportunities for success personal life, and relationships. Suzanne Summers, known for her iconic roles in television and film, also had a tumultuous personal life marked by love, loss, and enduring relationships. At the center of her personal life was her relationship with Alan Hamill, a former talk show host and manager with whom she shared a bond that lasted for over five decades. From their initial meeting on the set of the anniversary game in 1969, to their wedding in 1977, Suzanne Summers and Alan Hamill's love story was one for the ages. Despite the unconventional start to their relationship, with Hamill being married when they first began seeing each other, their connection endured. Hamill divorced his wife to marry Summers, and they became inseparable partners in both life and business. Together, they navigated the highs and lows of fame, building a successful career for Summers while also blending their families including Summer's son from her previous marriage and Hamill's children from his first marriage. Their relationship wasn't just about love, it was also a partnership built on mutual respect and collaboration. Hamill played a crucial role in managing Summer's career, ensuring that she made long-term career-oriented decisions that set her up for success. His support was unwavering, especially during challenging times like Summer's battle with breast cancer in 2000. Despite the hardships they faced, including the loss of their home to a wildfire in 2007, their bond only grew stronger over the years. One of the defining aspects of their relationship was their ability to maintain a strong sense of intimacy and passion, even after decades together. Summers openly spoke about their vibrant sex life, revealing that they never spent a night apart since their wedding. Their connection was so deep that Summers admitted to sleeping with Hamill on their first date, a testament to the intense chemistry they shared. Throughout their marriage, Summers and Hamill experienced both joy and sorrow, from celebrating milestones like becoming grandparents to facing health challenges together. Hamill stood by Summers' side during her battle with breast cancer, providing unwavering support and care during her treatment and recovery. Their enduring love and commitment to each other were evident in every aspect of their lives, from their professional collaborations to their personal moments of intimacy and affection. On October 15, 2023, Suzanne Summers passed away peacefully at home, surrounded by Alan Hamill and their family. Despite the immense grief of losing his beloved wife, Hamill found solace in the signs of her presence that appeared in their home after her passing. 
One such occurrence involved a hummingbird, which flew into their Palm Springs home and made its way through various rooms before hovering in front of a framed picture of the couple. Another notable occurrence was the spontaneous ignition of their fireplace, coupled with the sudden onset of music by Summer's favorite composer. Furthermore, Hamill described feeling Summer's presence, particularly when he was alone in their bedroom. He recounted moments where he sensed her nearby, offering him comfort and reassurance in his time of grief. Their love story may have ended with Summers' passing, but Alan Hamill's belief in an afterlife and the signs of Suzanne's continued presence serve as a testament to the enduring power of their bond. Return to Television In 1991, Suzanne Summers embarked on a new chapter in her television career that would mark a significant resurgence in her popularity and cement her status as a household name once again. But before we delve into that, let's rewind a bit to understand the landscape she was navigating. Following her departure from Three's company, Summers found herself facing a challenging period in her career. Despite her talent and charm, she struggled to shake off the label of being a troublemaker in Hollywood, which hindered her efforts to land substantial roles. However, amidst these setbacks, Summers remained determined to reignite her career and reclaim her place in the spotlight. Now let's fast forward to 1991, the year that would herald a remarkable comeback for Summers. It was during this time that she began her stint on a new sitcom called Step by Step, co-starring alongside Patrick Duffy. The show, described as an updated version of The Brady Bunch, provided Summers with the perfect platform to showcase her comedic chops and endearing charisma once again. Step by Step quickly became a beloved staple of television programming, captivating audiences with its heartwarming family dynamics and hilarious situational humor. Summers' portrayal of Carol Foster Lambert, a fun-loving and down-to-earth mother, resonated deeply with viewers, earning her widespread acclaim and adoration. In recognition of her stellar performance, Summers was honored with yet another People's Choice Award in 1991, further solidifying her status as a beloved television icon. But Summers' contributions to the entertainment industry didn't stop there. In addition to her role on Step by Step, she also ventured into the realm of television production, serving as an executive producer and starring in a made-for-television movie based on Keeping Secrets. This multifaceted approach to her career showcased Summer's versatility and creative prowess, further enhancing her reputation as a formidable force in Hollywood. As Step by Step continued to captivate audiences and solidify Summer's status as a television powerhouse, she also found success outside the realm of sitcoms. In 1994, she made a memorable cameo appearance in the John Waters feature film Serial Mom, showcasing her range as an actress and earning praise for her comedic timing and on-screen presence. However, Summer's journey towards career revitalization wasn't limited to the small screen. In 1984, she seized the opportunity to star in the high-profile musical The Moulin Rouge at the Las Vegas Hilton. Despite initial challenges and skepticism surrounding the production, Summer's undeniable talent and magnetic stage presence helped transform the show from a potential flop into a sellout success. Her triumphant stint in Las Vegas not only earned her critical acclaim, but also garnered her the prestigious title of Las Vegas Entertainer of the Year in 1986, solidifying her status as a bona fide star in the world of entertainment. Buoyed by this success, Summers continued to explore new opportunities and push the boundaries of her craft, undeterred by the obstacles she had faced earlier in her career. In 1987, she was offered the lead role in the television series She's the Sheriff, portraying a woman who assumes the role of the town's law officer following her husband's passing. While the show enjoyed moderate success, it was unfortunately canceled after two seasons. Yet Summer's unwavering determination and resilience remained undiminished, propelling her towards new endeavors and exciting ventures on the horizon. As we reflect on Suzanne Summers' tumultuous journey through the highs and lows of the entertainment industry, one thing becomes abundantly clear. Her indomitable spirit and unwavering passion for her craft have been the driving forces behind her enduring legacy. 
From her groundbreaking roles on television to her electrifying performances in Las Vegas, Summer's contributions to the world of entertainment have left an indelible mark on audiences worldwide, ensuring that her star will continue to shine brightly for years to come. Personal Struggles and Death From coping with devastating losses to battling ongoing health issues, Summer's journey was marked by both triumphs and challenges shaping her into the formidable woman she was known to be. Throughout her life, Summers faced numerous health battles, including multiple cancer diagnoses that tested her resolve and courage. Despite her valiant efforts to overcome the disease, on October 15, 2023, Summers succumbed to breast cancer with metastasis to the brain. This day marked the end of a remarkable journey that spanned over two decades, and her passing was mourned by millions of fans worldwide. Summer's death was not just a loss for Hollywood. It was a poignant reminder of the fragility of life and the importance of cherishing every moment. Her legacy lives on through her iconic roles, best-selling books, and enduring advocacy for health and wellness. Though she may be gone, Suzanne Summer's indomitable spirit will continue to inspire generations to come, reminding us to live each day with courage, compassion, and resilience. Thanks for watching another episode. Click the next video on your screen for more.